sometimes we're given equations and we want to be able to talk about those equations out loud. In this section, we're going to talk a little bit about starting with a math equation and translating it back into words. When you're doing this, you really need to be careful to make sure that the meaning of your expression is clear. Let's suppose that I have an expression like this, 4x plus 2 equals 10. And I want to describe what's going on here in words. If I want to talk about both the multiplication and the addition, I do need to be careful about the way that I write that. If I write, for example, the product of 4 and x plus 2, it's not 100% clear what's going on here. Am I multiplying the product? Am I multiplying 4 and x plus 2? Or am I multiplying 4 and x and then plusing 2? So am I finding the product and then plusing 2 afterwards? So this type of a wording, the product of 4 and x plus 2, is not very clear. Because am I doing 4 and x plus 2? Or am I doing the product of 4 and x and then plusing 2 to that? So these two are both options that would could be interpreted with that type of wording. So what type of wording can we do to make it a little more clear about the order of operations? Here's a couple of ideas. So in this first example here, one way that you could correlate would be to, instead of doing a plus 2 at the end, let's make sure that we're clear about this addition and this. So we can use something like 2 more than the product of 4 and x. This is one way that's going to be immensely more clear. And then we're going to say is equal to 10. We don't want to forget the last part of our equation there. But here, if by doing by adding the 2 is more than the product of 4 and x, it's very clear that the product or the multiplication is only between 4 and x, and that the 2 is being added later. A way that we could do this here is to indicate the other direction here, where I want to do the x plus 2 first and then times by 4. I can do something like 4 times the sum of x and 2 is 10, or is equal to 10. So in this case, I'm multiplying 4 times the answer to the addition problem, meaning I need to do the addition problem first. Here, I'm doing 2 plus the product of these two, so I'm going to do the multiplication first and then multiply by 2. So just a few things in terms of wording that you can keep track of if you're given an expression and you want to write it in the other form. Really take advantage of these words here, like product and sum, and do them in such a way that it's real obvious that what you want to do is get the answer to a very specific thing and then do another operation. Find the answer to this very specific thing and then do another the other operation as far as that goes.